When companies of any size start focusing on their data, there are always some challenges. We'll look at two mistakes that almost everyone makes that waste time, money, and can even prevent your analytics goals from getting off the ground. I'm Jen and I demystify analytics skills and careers. Check out the video description for a variety of analytics resources. Let's jump right into the two most common data analytics mistakes that businesses of all sizes make, and then we'll talk about how to avoid them. Mistake number one is underestimating the limits of the information that you have. Many times when a company introduces a new analytics tool or solution, the immediate way people tend to use it is more for retroactive reporting versus looking into the future and understanding the full scope of what can be done with it. The same is true within even functional organizations within a company that may be larger in areas where people haven't typically focused as much on analytics in the past. The real value of analytics comes in using it to make business decisions and taking action based on the feedback that you're getting from the information, the data that you're utilizing. While it's interesting to know the trends in your data and what's happened in the past, and that's even really a critical piece to moving forward, if you just stop there and you don't use it to drive action or change behavior or validate that the behaviors that you're seeing in the business are the correct ones, then you really haven't gotten much value out of that data. You're not really leveraging it to help you your business get better. This is equally as important in small or mid-sized businesses as in large corporations. Possibly even more so, small businesses tend to have fewer resources. So the more that they can leverage these tools that make people more efficient and more effective in the work they're doing, the more value they're getting out of those resources in the organization. The more they're letting people focus where people add value into the business. So while many companies do underestimate the limits of their data, at the other end of the extreme, we see mistake number two, which is overestimating what your data, what your information can do. Sometimes this might happen in tandem or, or in parallel with underestimating the limits of your information. But what tends to happen here is people think, we'll implement this tool and that'll solve all of our problems. We'll immediately have data that's clean, that's clear, um, that we can quickly get information out of. And while over time that does become true, it's usually not true from the start. There's there's usually a fair amount of setup that's needed. There's an understanding of the business that someone looking at the data needs. So while you can get to that point, don't expect to implement a tool, implement a solution, and immediately solve all of your analytics related problems or answer every question that you might have in your business. You've probably encountered one or both of these problems if you've worked with analytics at all. So how do we avoid them? Because really that's what we want to do. We don't want to underestimate, we don't want to overestimate. Here's a few questions that you can ask that help make sure that you're not underestimating what you can do with the data and the information you have. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this data? Is there any information that surprises me in the data? How can I identify areas that are low performing? And then how can I improve those? These might be two separate questions, one that's answered with data and one that's answered a little bit more with the team that's involved in the business side of things. Another great question is where can I have the most impact for the investment of my time or finances? While you can solve a lot of different problems, with your data and using analytics, start where you have high impact or you have ease of application in what you're doing, where you can get small wins quickly and build confidence in the capabilities of using that data and the people that are using it within your organization. On the other hand, if you have the problem of overestimating what you can do with your data, then here are a few questions that you might find valuable. When it comes to overestimating your data, a lot of times what happens is people will try to use information for a purpose that it really wasn't designed for. You'll find data was collected for one thing and we try to use it for another. And while that is certainly possible, you have to know what the limits of your data are. Here's some questions that you can ask within that context. How much of my customer or product portfolio are contained within this data set? Sometimes what we do is we take small samples of data and we use that to infer something about the entire population. 
but if we don't sample in a random way, we might come to conclusions that aren't accurate for everything. Ask yourself what external factors might be impacting these results. We certainly saw this come up with COVID when we had lockdowns, where we had shipping issues and logistics problems, supply problems, where they may not be accurate data points to use to predict the future because they might be an entirely different set of circumstances than what we'll experience in the future. You can also do a bit of a gut check. Does this align with what I thought to be true about the business? Sometimes the data does tell us something that's different than what we assume. But if you have a long running assumption that you've thought to be true, ask some more questions, challenge the assumptions that went into looking at the data. You may find that it still contradicts what you thought, but you also may find that the way you approach asking the question wasn't an accurate enough reflection of what you were really trying to achieve in asking it. So take time to challenge those assumptions and make sure that the question you asked and the answer you're getting align with each other. Look out for these mistakes and you'll get a lot more value out of the data and the analytics that you're working with. Thanks so much for watching.